Hello YouTube, this is XXXMan360 here, and welcome back to another episode of Fanware Files. This is a bit of a special episode today, as it is not an ordinary kind of file. This was submitted by ClickGaster on my Discord server, so thank you for submitting that. And what we got today is Windows Vista Build 5219 from August 30th, 2005. So this is um, one of the releases of Windows Vista before Windows Vista was made public. And so uh, we're going to go through the install process, which I will cut after because no one's going to want to watch the whole thing. But we will look at the setup and then the actual OS itself when it's done installing. So first we're going to start the machine. This is back when it was called Windows Longhorn. And that, that was its code name for the time being when the project was in development. As you can see, Windows Vista Beta 2. Alright. Uh, install now. The installation process consists of a few easy steps. Then Windows will finish installing on its own. Uh, okay, I will have to get a products key. I'll be right back in a second. All right, I've entered the products key and it works. Um, so now uh, we got the license agreement, which no one ever reads, uh, but I'll scroll through anyways in case anyone wants to slow down the video and look at it. I accept. Uh, we're gonna go custom because we can't upgrade. There is no Windows on installed. Uh, okay, we'll choose to install it to disk zero. Actually, we'll give it some new space and format it to. All right, so now we got our partition. Choose to install it. It's not ready for installation. Now Windows will install and uh, it's going to take a while, so I will just skip to the part when it is done installing so I can actually show you the OS. Okay, now we are at this uh, black screen with our cursor. Oh, okay. There we go. Applying computer settings. Wow. Alright, so here is Windows Vista Beta 2, build 5129. Oh, 5219. Insert the, um, the guest add-ons. Welcome to the supplemental driver pack for pre-release Windows code named Longhorn. This wizard will install drivers designed for Windows XP for display and networking devices for your computer that are not fully yet supported by Longhorn. Click next to install and detect these drivers. Well, I mean, it does not really matter considering the fact that we have the VirtualBox add-ons designed just for that. And there we go. Oh, okay. Uh, well, maybe we install the 32 bit ones. Okay, that's not good. But, uh, oh, wait. Maybe if I start it in safe mode, that will do it better. So I must spam F8. Why is this operating system so sucky at restarting? It's like I have to manually do it. Hmm. Okay. What kind of games do we got? We got Minesweeper. Oh, wait. I just noticed this is like where the uh, the modern Minesweeper started to come into play. It was like it was like an upgrade from... Oh. Shoot. 
upgrade from where uh, it was just like you know like the Windows XP one or it was no animations you just clicked yeah that's what uh, that looks like to me I see the icons they don't exactly have the most um, uh, nice detailing like you can see right here this is pretty um, roughly um, cropped I, then again this is a beta build it wasn't supposed to be the final product it's Windows, uh, yeah, for Windows media player where's the volume control sound Damn. Uh, control panel. We got here. Adjust system volume. Oh, it's muted, but it can't even detect anything. Uh. Okay, we gotta try to get into safe mode. I'm just go. Oh wait, maybe. Okay, yes, this is what I was looking for. Safe mode. Oh, I noticed the icons actually look nicer, like they're more smooth. Hey, why does it always fail there? Oh wait, maybe if I, d wait, compatibility exists, right? Okay, I can change it to look for like a Windows XP sort of installation. Why it keeps failing here? Oh, I mean, I can't really do anything about that. <laughs> this is more of meant to be like. Uh, an experimental video. Alright, so guest add-ons do not want to run. Uh, I wonder if there's a way I could actually manually in install them. I'm sure there is a way, but I don't know that at the, this time. Uh, Oh wait, maybe, uh, okay, this, this, uh, driver pack installation wizard, put the, okay, yes, now it is, Windows do not need to install any additional drivers, uh, or not be able to, okay, yeah, probably gotta leave safe mode first, that would be a good idea. You know, it's probably also the fact I'm using VirtualBox, which uh, most people don't really test with VirtualBox. They'll use uh, VMware instead. Okay, so yeah, we did not uh, did not find anything. Uh, okay, this is a pre-release uh, Microsoft WinFX runtime component to Beta 2 software. Adds uh, that's quite the long name as well. New developer features to Windows Vista for enhanced graphics and communications. Install for uh, your PDC Media DVD number three in folder. WinFX runtime component September CTP setup or download here. Oh, blah, 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 blah. no one really gives. It. No one really cares. You want to know what would be fun to do? Chess. Oh no, we can't even get the 3D surface. Uh. Yeah, we don't even have 3D graphics. Dang. What, do we have internet? Oh my god. Do we? Looks like we do. Oh, for, um, here. Oh, oh wow, we do got internet. Cool. What's my OS.com? What will detect it as? 
The page cannot be displayed. This is literally the one website that always gets displayed, even on the oldest browsers. That's, uh, that's, no, that's ridiculous. Okay, but you want to know it isn't ridiculous? Running cmd.exe and deleting system32. Okay, yes, we are the administrator. Perfect. I thought maybe as a highlight to the video, we delete system32 as a way of saying goodbye because no one likes Windows Vista. Actually, you know what? We'll just remove the entire C drive. C, S, Q. And here we go. Delete all the files. Some of them say access is denied, but that does not account for all the other thousands that have been lost as we speak. When it's flashing, that means it's successfully deleting files. Okay, yes, it is deleting more. Oh yeah, we just saw those disappear from the desktop. Oh boy. Okay, we're done. Let me guess shutdown.exe doesn't exist anymore. Oh, still does. All right. Huh, okay, I was hoping the comment would show up, but I guess that's not in the right spot, or it just doesn't have that. Alright, so we got 30 seconds before self-destruct. This is going to be the top 10 at- oh, wow. Literally... Mm. Yeah, there's- Okay, yeah, well, yeah, we're going now. Windows is shutting down, and since it can't do that anyways, we're just gonna have to reset it. All right, here we go. Boat MGR is missing. Press Control Alt Delete to restart. So, yep, we killed Vista. It had its death. And so this brings us to the end of the video. Thank you, Clickgaster, for sending me this ISO. And to anyone else who is watching, if you'd like to send me your own software or even your own operating system, for that matter, don't uh, don't hesitate to join my Discord server and look for the channel that says "Give Me Software Here," where you can submit it there, and I will show it on YouTube. That is all, and thank you for watching.